So I knew today I was supposed to get a package from Home Science Tools with our science stuff in it. And I opened the door and there was a box there, but it's this itty bitty thing. This is not what I was expecting at all, so I'm going to have to open this up and see what happened. Okay, so I called Home Science Tools to find out what was up with that itty bitty box because I ordered a whole lot more than what that box would hold. Um, I did open the box and I checked the packing slip because I thought maybe they mislabeled the outside and it was an order for somebody else but my name and my full list was in the box so um i called them up and said hey what's the deal and it also said on the outside box label that it was um one of one um, i explained my situation to the woman on the phone and she already knew there was a problem because she asked me is this rebecca and i said yes and she's like okay so blah 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 blah, blah. anyway they knew there was a problem, so they think there's a second box on its way that I should get tomorrow. So hopefully that box is much bigger and contains all the fun goodies that I had ordered. Um, I did open, um, obviously, this box. It did have this bag of nails and some rubber bands in it, which I did order. Um, it also had something else that was wrapped in paper. Um, I thought, you know, with all the items I ordered, it was something I did order. Um, I guess I wrapped it up already. But it was actually like a bottle of liquid and I knew looking at it that it was not something I had ordered. So I got like six items I did order and it's all like a total of like 50 cents tops. Um, I got something I didn't order and nothing else. So hopefully... Um, my box will arrive tomorrow. I've never had a problem like this um, from Home Science Tools before. So don't think this is like, oh, I shouldn't order from them. They're usually really great. I usually get my boxes no problem. I usually get everything I've ordered and um, in a timely manner. So this is just kind of a weird fluke. And somehow they obviously caught it the day they did it. But for some reason, the boxes went out separately the way they did. So... I guess we'll just have to wait and see, and hopefully everything will show up tomorrow. Okay, so my second box is supposed to show up today. Let's see if it's here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Woohoo. It's bigger. That's good. Hopefully it's got everything we need. All right, so start by pulling off the label. Okay, so that's good enough for that. And then, ooh, it's not even sealed all the way. Yikes. Stuck my fingers. Paper. I might have to ship stuff, so this is actually pretty nice. Open up. Hmm, I think that might be thermometers, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, so it's got my stirring rod. It's getting out of focus. Why are you doing this? My stirring rod, which is nifty. And then, hold still. Uh, this is the thermometer. It's in this little 
protect, protective, 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 protective case. So, pop, no, I don't want to pop it off. There's that. Ooh, look at more paper. Medicine droppers. Chemicals. Sodium hydroxide. More chemicals. I'm gonna say this. Cupric? Cupric chloride? I don't even know what this stuff does. I just bought from the list. Here's another one. Strontium chloride. Ooh, fun. It's like a mystery. Can't open it. Okay, I got it open. So this is like part of the burner. paper here. So it's the wickless alcohol burner. So you can burn stuff. <laughs> Don't want to lose that. This is exciting. Brush for cleaning up test tubes. I'm gonna call this a measuring cylinder. It's basically a graduated cylinder, 50 milliliter one, itty bitty compared to some of the other ones we have. You always wrap everything really good. I've never had anything broken from them. Oh, look how cute it is. This is a 100 milliliter beaker. They spend all this time watching me rip stuff. Well, this is, I forget what this is called. It's all wrapped up nice. I don't think I want to unwrap it yet. It's like a glass uh, circle thing. I'm so technical here, you know? Glass circle thing. It is a Huh. I can't find glass circle thing. Oh, here it is. A watch glass, 100 millimeters in diameter. That's what that is. I believe. I hope. Ooh, it's like Christmas morning. You know you ask for certain things, but you're not quite sure what's in the packages. Ah! These, oh my goodness. Woo! These, I believe, are my test tubes, and they are not at all the size I thought they were. They're teeny tiny. I have to make sure they're what I need, so. Look how tiny. I'm used to seeing those big fat ones, but look at that. Oh, that's cool. running out of space here. This is, I don't know what this is. Okay, oh, this is like a little scoopiter, scoop or scoopiter, scoopiter. I made up a word, scoopiter. The little scooper thing, they say it's like a spatula. You can take some of this, whatever it is, scoop it out of there nicely. So, there's our scoopiter, our scoopiter. Um, 
more paper. Ooh, colorful goodness. Woohoo! I got litmus paper on the list. Blue and red. Obviously, it's up to them. Blue and red. And then we got balloons. I want to make sure I have the right size for whatever we need to use them for. These kind of cups, because I guess, I don't know if you need the lid. I didn't feel like hunting them down. Although, I don't know. I guess it's okay. This is our test tube holder. Although it looks like it's a little big for the test tubes we got. So I hope, I hope it's okay. Let's see. It's a little... I guess it's okay, but see, I thought the test tubes I or was ordering are more more the width of this, so I didn't realize that. I didn't check it. I didn't think to check it. I didn't know they had tiny, tiny test tubes. Okay, we got this. This is like the burner thing. I think it goes over the thing like so. And then you can put stuff up there and watch it burn. Burn suckers. I think that's what that's for. Um filter paper. Funnel. It's like the mini tin man's hat. Except it's plastic. Which would make him a plastic man I guess. Don't want the baby tin man to hurt himself on metal though. Oh, this one I just bought is a fun gizmo for my son. Next time he starts whining that he's bored, I will pull out this little doodad and say, here, have at it. So it'll give him something to do. I think it's only like nine bucks or something, so. Something to put together and keep him busy for a little bit. And then, oh! Special gloves so we don't burn our hands. And then a little tong doodad for the test tubes. These are always like backwards or something. Like I don't remember exactly how it works. You gotta squeeze it to open it or something. I don't know. I guess it's like sealed there. There's a little thing so it can't do it, but. It's supposed to hold the test tube. I don't know. This wasn't on any of the lists, but I thought you need to have one. I don't know if they're heating test tubes or not, but it seemed like a good idea. And then to keep our clothes beautiful, these are little aprons. Um, they're just like a vinyl material. Um, They had like a couple of different kinds and this was like the second least expensive but it seemed like it was more um, sturdier, more sturdier, more sturdier, sturdier, um, better quality than the cheapest one. So yeah, this is like a white vinyl and you can reuse it. So. As long as it's treated well, it should last the whole year. Hope my son doesn't get it in his head to rip this stuff. <laughs> okay, so that's our box of wonder. Um, because of the mishap with the two different boxes, I actually have to go through all this and um, go down the list and check everything off to make sure I got it all. And oh, I think she's right. I didn't get something that she thought they might have missent. Denatured ethyl alcohol fuel. I did not see that in there. So I have to go through the list and check it and then give her a call, I guess. So there you go. Yeah. Home science tools. If you need science stuff, it's a place to go. So yeah, there we go. My whole mess of stuff, minus the few things from that itty bitty box.
So I want to make sure everything's here with this. So I'm going to look at this a little bit better. Whoop, here we go. And this is a little stand. I guess it's for like up here. So you can put like the test tube in it. And then... It's kind of weird. I don't know if that's like... I don't want to mess anything up. So it doesn't get bent. What the deal it is. What the deal it is. So. It looks like a test tube stopper actually a little bit. Not quite, but it looks like it would fit. Ah. This is like the heat shield right here. See that? According to the picture. Or you can wear it as a funky bracelet, which I don't recommend. Sadly enough, I think that would fit me. Look at that. See that? Huh? Um. It looks like a cool little gizmo. Let's see. Oh, I'm doing it the stupid way. Burn! Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. My son will love that. Burning stuff. Chemistry is all about. Even when tipped, the burner will not leak. Ah, each burner comes with a snuffer cap and a heat shield. That's weird, because on the website it does say it's for holding stuff. That's weird. Hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, so I just thought I'd finish this off by telling you um, what happened with my order. Um, I went through the list and saw what I had and what I didn't have. And basically the only thing I didn't have was the item they thought I didn't have. It was the denatured alcohol for the alcohol burner. And that was the one they said was right on the shelf next to the item they sent me accidentally. So um, by the time I went to call them that day, they were closed. So I called them the next morning and they were already in the process of putting that item into a box for me and getting ready to ship it so it would go out that day. Um, they had figured out what their mistake was when they printed out the order because of the length of the order. It had printed out in two separate sheets, so they just thought it was two separate orders. Um, I'm assuming they just grabbed the second sheet first or thought, oh, this is a smaller order, we'll get this taken care of and then we'll do the bigger order. Um, whatever the reason was, um, exactly however it worked out, um, I guess the boxes just shipped separately, so I got them on two separate days. And then there was that item mix up with the first box. So um, they're working on making it right. I should have that item in the next day or two, so I'll have everything for my um, list of supplies. And um, they just told me to keep the extra item because it was just it was just like um, stain for like microscope scope slides so um, we can use that um, and they just said it'd be more trouble than it's worth you know to for me to ship it back and this that and the other so um, they um, they made everything right we have everything we need or it'll be here you know in the next day or two so um, don't hesitate to order from them um, they're a really good place to go the prices are really good and they have you know all the little weird type items you'll need for um, homeschooling science and for what a lot of the different um, curriculum books require. So um, if you're looking for something, Home Science Tools is a great place to go. And um, yeah, just looking forward to doing um, science this year, chemistry, chemicals, burning stuff. Should be lots of fun. So uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.